Hello, and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, thank you for joining me here today. My name is Episcopo Squirrel, also known as Alchemage, and this morning I'm here to discuss with you all a brand new field of medicine known as narrative medicine. But before I get into this conversation, let me ask a few questions of you first. The last time that you went to the doctor, or perhaps any time that you've been to the doctor, I want you to think real quick. How did you feel? How did the doctor make you feel? When you were talking with the doctor, did you feel like you were under any kind of time limit? As though maybe you had five or ten minutes to talk with the doctor, and then you were out the door and the next person's coming in. Or perhaps you felt as though you weren't being listened to. Perhaps you felt like you couldn't talk about what's going on with you, the symptoms that you're experiencing, or even the treatments that you would prefer. Well, this is where narrative medicine comes into play. You see, narrative medicine makes all of these things very important because the client, the patient, is the very center of healing. Healing really begins with the patient. We as doctors don't have the capability to actually heal the person when really we are simply helping the other individual heal themselves through different prescriptions, through different remedies, and through different lifestyle changes. Absolutely. But narrative medicine has a practitioner sit down with the patient and actually listen to what the patient has to say. You see, and it's not just listening to respond. This is listening to accept the patient as a living human being with needs, with wants. So, in this practice, the focus is on the patient, allowing the patient to express everything that is going on with them, to give them as much time as they need to talk about themselves, to talk about their symptoms, to talk about any kind of treatments that they think might be necessary for their healing. Narrative medicine, again, having the patient at the center, allows the doctor to really connect with that patient, to understand who they are and what they're going through and what might be the best course of action. For instance, if you are a nutritionist and someone comes to you and has, say, a low iron count. And so you tell them that they need to eat more red meat. Just for example, you know, obviously you can get iron from peats and other sources, but just say that this is what you uh, suggest, that they need to eat red, more red meat. Say that they're not eating any and that, um, I don't know. I don't really feel like getting into all the what ifs, but regardless, say that that is your suggestion, that you suggest to eat more red meat, because that is where a lot of bioavailable iron comes from. So, this said, what if this person is a Hindu and has, you know, religious um, restrictions against being able to eat cow, against eating beef? Well, most likely what's going to happen is that this client, this patient, is no longer going to come to you. They're going to be really upset that you told them to do something that religiously is res they're restricted from doing and that they think is sacrilege. They're going to be pretty upset with you 
and uh, they might even tell their friends, their family, and you'll lose a whole crowd of potential clients that you could help, that you could help heal. And it's all because you didn't listen to them. You weren't there for them. So, as a practitioner, it's extremely important to listen to what the client has to say about themselves. We are not the client. We are simply a third party. We are here to assist the other, not drag the other by the hand, throw them through the rodeo and say, this is what I think you need. Because we're not them. How can we ever say, sorry, my low battery thing came up. How can we ever say what another person truly needs without actually knowing everything there is to know about that individual? Thus, narrative medicine is an extremely, extremely important branch of medicine. Being able to understand and decipher what another individual is going through with compassion, with empathy, with sympathy, with love, with respect. So, those are my thoughts and key points on what narrative medicine is. So, if you have any questions, any ideas, any further input, please go ahead and comment down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.